Hello and welcome to I Am Geek, and this is episode 99. Whoa. <laughs> One more till we get to 100. I'm Ryan. I'm joined by my brother Chris and our good pal, Katrin. How are you guys doing tonight on episode 99? Oh, good. To celebrate, I have 99 red balloons all in a room. Why? Oh, why? Wow. Uh, 90, 99 loop balloons. Do with them? I don't know. I, I thought we were kind of. I thought that was what we were doing. Next week we're doing a hundred bottles of beer on the wall just yeah. the whole time. That's gonna be the whole episode. Okay. Oh boy! Yeah. So, so you guys don't have balloons? I have ninety nine problems. Oh, and oh, I ain't one. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't quite catch that. What was that? <laughs> that was bleeped out. <laughs> Backache. That's what I was. Back backache. Ache. Oh. One. Your back's okay. Good. Yeah. Well, no, not really. So I guess that is <laughs> one of the ninety-nine problems. You do have a hundred problems. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> There's always room for one more. <laughs> <laughs> All avalanches start off slow. <laughs> that was. Uh, Are you like my haunted mansion reference? That was the haunted mansion reference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Disney. <laughs> <laughs> How we do it, folks. That's how we do if you it. Haven't figured us out in 99 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> technically, we have more than 99 episodes because we have a few that are Shh, in there. Don't tell them that. <laughs> that are specials. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, spe- they're the special they're episodes. The special ones. <laughs> but we keep them in the yeah. attic. <laughs> like, like Bart's evil twin brother. We'll have some more special <laughs> episodes. Speaking of Bart Simpson. <laughs> First off, we want to give a big shout out. Shout out! To Comic Palooza coming to Houston May 10th through the 12th. If you don't know what Comic Palooza is, then check it out at ComicPalooza.com. It's Texas's largest uh, comic con? Comic, comic book convention? convention? Comic yeah. book convention? And we were there last year, and we're coming back for this year, and we are so excited. They keep saying, hey, we want you to do this, and we'd like for you to do that. And we're just so excited that we're going to be able to uh, not only attend, but uh, record participate. some, pr- pr- participate. Um, mm-hmm. Got some news coming up. We can't really say what all of it is right now, but... We get our cosplay on, at least at least two of us. At least two of you. I hopefully will be able to at some point... <laughs> I've got to come. I've got to make the the costume first, but it's going to be a busy weekend. So yeah, so many mm-hmm. vendors and artists will be there, and lots yeah, to man. see and do. Yeah, if you if you're familiar yeah. with our uh, Flash series, that we <laughs> <laughs> every once in a while we'll rant on Flash. Flashbacks. Yeah. Flashbacks. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Flashbacks with I am Geek. Um, Grant Gustin will be there, the Flash from CW, and um, John Wesley. John Wesley Chip. Chip, that's Chip, right. Yep, uh, will be there. Who was the Flash in the um, TV show from the nineties? Nineties. Uh, <laughs> but I was trying to remember. They like to finish each other's. I did, or... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're just all connected. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't so sure if it was the 80, late eighties or nineties. Sandwiches. But, um, <laughs> he'll be there, and he also plays the dad on the. Current Flash, series. current Flash, yes. and amongst uh, other characters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's true. They bring it back every once in a while. Hey, it's the Flash from. Yeah. <laughs> we need World an alternate Earth, universe uh... Flash. Yeah, Earth, so, yeah. John Wesley ship available again. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves him. Yeah, but bo- <laughs> both of them will be there. So I don't know if there will be a like a portal to the multiverse that opens up when they appear or or what, but. Who knows? If there is, I'm jumping in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> so, and then there'll be, um, uh, for you guys, for me, she's from Solo. For you guys from Game of Thrones, um, Emilia, how do you say her name? Emilia Clark? Emilia? Emily Clark? Emily, Emily Clark. Oh, it's just but spelled it's weird. Like Emily. Okay. It is spelled weird. I, she's I'm not just, weird. Amelia Clark. 
Amelia. There we go. Amelia. That's it. Yeah. Amelia. Wow, we're bad. <laughs> Hi, Amelia. We got, we got this. I've, but it's okay, because I've only seen her in Solo, so I did see her. I, I broke down and watched the first episode of Game of Thrones with my wife, and we were both like, oh, well, I told you, so. I, I, on the on, we were playing PlayStation the other night, and I said you've got to get past the first like few episodes. Yes, and it'll it'll get better because I thought the same thing. I, we have friends that have actually read the books, and they told us that too. They're like, it's this. You, you just got to get past all this backstory kind of things, or just learning mm-hmm. all the characters, but also <laughs> don't get used to them. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> oh, great! Don't, don't get a favorite. Oh, yeah. a favorite. <laughs> but uh you, it'll get it gets better i mean that's that's like that with a lot of shows uh not every show is like that of course but um there's a lot of shows where you just got to get past that first little bit and then it gets better kind of like watching star wars episode um eight you, uh, you just gotta watch or whatever it was <laughs> you gotta watch it three times and it'll get better it right not. <laughs> did not age like fine wine. <laughs> no, it did not. I've, speaking of favorite characters on there, I've already got my favorite. I know he's going to be a stand-up good guy. I could just tell by the smile on his face. The uh, the prince guy with the blonde hair, the little little prince guy. <laughs> I could already tell oh, he's going to be a, he's going to be a hero yeah. and save the day. Oh, he, and he's, yeah, he's a prince among men. <laughs> I'm just joking. I already know pretty much what character does what. So um, oh. I know he's a he's a real. Uh, Brat. Yeah, putting it nicely, Brat. I guess. <laughs> oh, no, he's fine. I like the cut of his jib. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going places. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. See, nothing but, wrong here. Nothing wrong here. We thought about putting tonight's episode off a little for a few days, but then we decided to go ahead because right now, as we're sitting here recording... Star Wars celebration has started in Chicago, and already there's uh, no news that has come out that uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're they they've recreated Canto Bite there. Casino, so, gambling, gambling with rich people. That there's that you were told were horrible in the movie are there. Yeah, they're there. <laughs> people dressed up as <laughs> cosplay. Um, the five hundred first is doing that, so that I mean they're they're good. Yes, organization. Mm-hmm. They're usually there, represented at Comic Palooza as well. Remember yes. last year they had that big booth set yeah. up, and you can get your pictures they're taken with them. They were really yeah, they're everywhere. Really cool. I got a friend that's in that in the five hundred first. Oh, cool. His outfits. He's got like a Kylo Ren that he does a lot for him. Awesome. Oh, well, why cool. haven't you invited him on the show? Well, I can. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Next time on I'm Geek, random guy that dresses in Kylo Ren. I don't know his name, so I don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so it started. So tomorrow that is the um, the episode nine panel. I think it's like at eleven a.m. So I'm sure there's going to be a teaser trailer that's released. And I remember when Chris and I went to the one two years ago, and they released the uh, the um, episode eight one. I just mm-hmm. like blocked the name of it. Last Jedi. Wow. <laughs> they released that teaser, and we're like, "Oh, it's gonna be so good! We can't wait!" <laughs> <laughs> yep, standing amongst everyone, Ooh. everyone was happy. And yeah, just didn't know what was coming. Ryan Johnson was there, and he was like, "Man, I'm doing this for the fans. It's gonna be." The best. He didn't. Well, he didn't say which fans. Yeah, so. I think he meant him himself. Star Trek fan, fans. Fans. Yeah. He's like, I'm sinking this. I'm tanking it <laughs> for the Star Trek people. Yeah. But J.J. Abrams <laughs> is back in the helm. So, uh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. They. It's gonna be good. They have a big mural there. That sort of. It's really cool. That like is basically from the beginning to the end yeah. of this saga, uh, like a, a mural of it. And they have the last section blacked out with a sheet. So you don't know what it is, mm. but I got some insider info and I posted a picture <laughs> on our Twitter. I am geek show or our Facebook group, what it is. So if you're a fan of, and find out if you're a fan of George R. Binks, you're going to be happy. 
(laughs) (laughs) And that's going to be like one person out there. Yeah. I thought it was clever when I did it. It was clever. It was. uh, Yeah. So Jar Jar Binks is the Sith version of him. And that's the final picture. Because the picture I found actually sort of matches up with the artwork on the mural. (laughs) That's true. Uh, Yeah. at first glance, it's like, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. 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 <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Got a lot of likes and a lot of attention on yeah, that's Twitter. Good. Like 3,000 people have seen it, I think. There you go. There you yeah. go. <laughs> or probably more than that. But whatever. Who's counting? Who's anyway? counting? Yeah. <laughs> Blah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> We're we're called influencers. That's what the that's what the kids call it, right? On Instagram, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I don't know. I'm, yeah. I don't influencers. <laughs> I saw a story that this influencer, Instagram influencer, this has nothing to do with anything we're talking about, but uh, her Instagram channel or whatever it is, yes. whatever they call sure. it, got shut down. Oh. So she was crying and complaining that she's going to have to get a regular job now. <laughs> like the poor people as she called them <laughs> poor people oh. like oh, a poor, wow. poor little girl poor thing to get a real job <laughs> All right. hmm. anyways so so not only it has has a uh, sort of say comic pollution that hasn't started yet celebration star wars celebration started today but Iger dropped a big bomb um um on the world of <laughs> entertainment today, uh, which was funny that it's basically they dropped this news the same day as Star Wars Celebration started, which I'm I'm guessing yeah. they're going to be promoting it a lot at Star Wars mm-hmm. Celebration. Oh yeah, probably so. Uh, but he dropped the news uh, or the more details, a lot more details on Disney Plus, which is going to be Disney's streaming site. So we thought we'd talk about that a little bit today about what's going on, what's what's the the dealio. Um, that's what the kids say. That's what the kids say these days. And then sort of just our (laughs) thoughts on, uh, streaming and all that stuff where it's going to fit into the the mix, but he dropped, so big, you know, it was, it was more for investors, but it was sort of geared towards everybody for potential subscribers. Uh, but dropped it that it's going to launch November 12th. 2019. Hmm. That's sooner than I thought it was going to be. But... Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited. So that's... Uh... Yeah. Especially in Disney time, right? Yeah, Disney time. <laughs> like, oh, I thought this was going to take like six more years. Well, they'll, they'll yeah. launch it and then they'll take a bunch of stuff away over like the next couple months. Yeah. And, <laughs> and raise the price every January. <laughs> yeah. I hope they don't do it like they do with a lot of stuff because like with the uh, Disney Infinity video game, you know, yeah. they they push that, push that, push that, and then one of it is like, hey, let's not do that anymore. Yeah, I didn't understand that. I don't. Yeah. I never really played it, but I still. It seemed like an awesome yeah, thing, yeah. and it could have been expanded. I mean, people were buying those figures. Maybe they wasn't selling as much as well. You would think. One of, the, one of the things that happened was that they they initially put out all these figures, but mm-hmm. they didn't like expect it to be as big as it was and so you couldn't really find them on the shelves Mm -hmm. and then when they did the like version 2.0 they produced way too many Uh, and so they had like a plethora of like overstock that they couldn't get rid of and they're like we can't sell this let's just do it it's it's done it's crazy (laughs) so hopefully they don't they don't change their mind on this but they've put in like billions of dollars into this thing so hopefully they don't. And they're expecting mm. uh, a ton of subscribers in their first you know, few months, which they've priced it well for that. They've priced it at $6.99 for the low, low price of $6.99 per month. Mm-hmm. You can get the new Disney Plus streaming site. And you may ask, what does that include? Well, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> So, like right now, Netflix has just announced that they're going to twelve ninety nine a month. So that's you know, that's more, a lot more. 
<laughs> that's more. HBO, wow. I think, is fourteen ninety nine a month. Yeah, um, I don't know what Hulu is right now, but I found out through reading this article and reading all about this today. I didn't know that Disney owns sixty percent of Hulu. Yeah, yeah, they own it all. They own it all. <laughs> so there's talks that they're going to be some kind of package deal where you can get Hulu, ESPN, um, Disney Plus, and I think one other thing. I don't. I don't want ESPN though. Well, you don't have to do that in that package. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. But I thought they said in the article that it wouldn't it wouldn't be a good idea if they did a big fat bundle. Like the idea is just to get I don't know, but maybe I misread it. They said in but, the future there may be a uh yeah, cost of a bundle. But maybe not a, yeah. But yeah, I could see because it's gonna be different content on especially Hulu and Disney Plus, those make probably the most sense for most people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh you can get so much on Hulu again, especially that it's different than Disney Plus, um, that it would make sense to have both. So if they can make it a, an attractive deal uh, that get people off of those other services, then it's it's a gold mine. It's a gold mine. They're just printing and, money. Yeah, and this, yeah. Will, this will be like Netflix. There won't be commercials. There won't be oh, yeah. um, all that jazz. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I... They're going to have 400 films from like their past from the Disney mm-hmm. vault. They're going to bust that wide open and start <laughs> out with 400 films, which I don't, mm-hmm. I would be curious to, I should have looked it up, but I didn't. How many films there actually are? Um, about 200 of those are different versions of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. The director's cut, and then the, the producer's cut, and the, Special edition. I'm just hoping Darby O'Gill and the little people are, are somewhere. Oh, in, it better in be. <laughs> Cat from Outer Space. Well, I mean, oh. like, I, I was thinking of, like, <laughs> the animated <laughs> movies, like, um, how many there actually are. Um, and then 5,000 episodes of past TV shows like Hannah Montana, Disney Channel shows, mm-hmm. stuff like that. 5,000 episodes of Hannah Montana. <laughs> Yeah, it's all Hannah Montana. Uh, I'm just I'm I'm gonna be able to watch Lizzie McGuire from the start just all the way through. Yes, huh. I would totally do that. <laughs> I used to watch back not, when back when that one actor wasn't crazy. That was even Stevens. Oh, that was even Stevens. Oh, see, I'm I gotta get this because I need to be able you to, to yeah, know the even difference. Stevens had Shia to... LaBeouf before he got crazy. Yeah, okay. He was a funny kid, and his sister. Um, on the show, did the also did the voice of um, Kim Possible. Yes, Victoria Justice? No. That's <laughs> Nickelodeon. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I know I know too much about um, kids' TV. Uh, <laughs> Victoria Justice was from a show called Victorious. On, um, Victorious? Well, that on, uh, makes sense. Nickelodeon. But anyways, I forget. I can look up her name if you want me. If you really want me to. Well, now I need to know. <laughs> Even Steven, right. uh, but she did Kim Possible, and, and the new Kim Possible movie, live action movie, this came out on Disney Channel. She made a guest appearance as a um, like a rock star that comes to give Kim a ride in her limo. Um, Christy Carlson Romano. Yes, there you go. See, I could. There's no way I would know that name. <laughs> She's been in so much stuff. I don't know why you don't know her. I did watch Kim Possible. Yeah. I, I did. Um, Kim Possible. You watched a live action movie? I watched a little bit of it. Um, yeah. And I was like, hey, it's the kid from Goldberg's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kept wanting to. Well, I guess I can't. I won't say what he says on the Goldberg's. But I kept wanting to say his phrase that he says on the Goldberg's uh, yeah. all the time. Because, like, something happened, I just want to go, oh, you know. But um, <laughs> he did. It was a Kim Possible movie. It wasn't that bad. It was pretty, you know. It was fun. Uh, anyway, so yeah, all those old shows Lizzie McGuire, Even Stevens, Hannah Montana. Um, I'm sure there's some more in there. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they'll have Disney Channel movies on there, so Katrin can watch the Cheetah Girls over and over again. The Cheetah Girls. That's the one, you don't remember that one? That was like uh, Raven Simone and 
they had their own rock band called the Cheetah Girls, like a girl they, band. Yeah, kind of. They better have the Tower of Terror movie with Steve Cooper. Uh, he was he's been on the Goldbergs recently. I I know he plays the the math teacher, right. science teacher, the science teacher. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's good. He's funny. You <laughs> like it took me a second. I'm like, wait, is that him? He looks. Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> Got him done up right though. Um. So, anyways, so we'll have all that. Plus, they're making tons of original content. Um. So they're gonna have Disney, Pixar, Marvel. Star Wars, National Geographic, and The Simpsons. Yeah. All The Simpsons. Homer announced today. <laughs> <laughs> but you haven't seen the video, go check it out on actually Disney's Twitter, which is funny. The Simpsons on mm-hmm. Disney's Twitter uh, sure. announced that they're going to be on Disney Plus, all The Simpsons episodes. Yay. Which makes me wonder. So right now, like, FX has, like, all The Simpsons episodes. And they've got, like, their own app that has like every Simpsons episode ever. So they're just going to get rid of that. Dis- Dis- Disney owns them now, right? Well, yeah, I know. Well, but probably. like it, it said, it said that that would be the only place to yeah. watch them on like for streaming. So yeah, they would. The just Disney overlords have taken them away. Oh, I don't want to be working at FX right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Disney FX. <laughs> <laughs> so all the Simpsons, um, there's going to be like a bunch of Marvel shows. Um, yeah, it's like every character is getting their own show, it seems like. Well, not every character. But... <laughs> <laughs> not yet. It's getting there. So they're going to have a Scarlet Witch show that's going to have Elizabeth Olsen. Yeah, um, probably the vision. I bet they'll have a vision. They they probably can't say right now. They don't probably he's have the dead. Vision. Didn't you see the Infinity War movie? No, he just he just he got a little sick. He just kind of lost his coloring a bit. He's just kind of under the weather. Oh, he's gone. Scarlet Witch is yeah. gone too, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody who's getting their own show is are is already dead. <laughs> so maybe these shows take, these are like prequels. You know, take place That's in the right. past. Because yeah, because there's Scarlet Witch, she's she's dead. Um, there's gonna be a Falcon and Hawkeye, uh, no, a Falcon and Winter, Winter Soldier, Soldier kind of yeah, buddy I cop, I guess. <laughs> uh, show they're both dead. Uh, a Loki show. Um, that's the one. Th- that's the one that's on, that I'm like. Okay, what? How are they doing this? <laughs> well, that one there's. Like speculation that it may be like him growing up, like, and so they'll have a younger him, yeah. and he'll be almost like a Wonder Years, yeah, yeah, <laughs> type voiceover, because he's like died in or supposedly died in Infinity War before spoiler before the snap <laughs> happened. So <laughs> if you haven't seen it, then sorry, but <laughs> <laughs> too bad. Yeah, before, before the snap happened, if he actually died, but you never know. Um. So, and then there's going to be um, uh, Hawkeye. Uh, Hawkeye, which I'm excited for. Yeah. Which supposedly, like, Kate Bishop might be a part of that. Ooh. It might be him training no, I'm Kate really Bishop, possibly. That's a rumor. He's a cool <laughs> character. Um, yeah. And then they're going to have the the What If, or what's it called? What If. What If. What if? Yeah, I was right. What If. Uh, that's a comic book series they did... And it's still going on. They still do them, I believe. Um, but it's like, what if Spider-Man became the Punisher? Or like um, things like that. Like, what if someone else got the powers of the Hulk or something? Um, but for their first episode, they said it was going to be a what if uh, Peggy Carter got the super soldier serum and became yeah. Captain America. And supposedly Steve Rogers gets a uh, like a super suit, like an Iron Man suit from Howard Stark. Yeah, hmm. which I was I was so bummed because when it, they first announced it, there was a picture of Haley Atwell that they had with the headline. So I'm like, oh, cool, like a live action. This is gonna be cool to bring her back. And then you read it, it's like, and it's animated. And I'm like, ah, oh. 
Come on. <laughs> and then they were like, and she's and she's voiced the uh, character in anime things, but she probably won't be back for this. I'm like, well, then why did you put her picture on her thing? <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> mm-hmm. That's how they get you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so they're gonna do that, uh, and then they're gonna do a Marvel's Hero Project, a documentary series featuring the positive changes several young people are making in their own communities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then there's some cooking show or something, BR Chef or something. Yeah, but that's not in Marvel. We're not there yet. <laughs> oh, <know>, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> well, there's another Marvel show. That's why I was... Uh, Marvel 616. I haven't seen that. It's a documentary series exploring the intersection between Marvel stories and the real world. Mm. Mm. So I think that's I think that's all the Marvel, the new stuff. But again, the first movie that will appear on there, I think will be um, Captain Marvel. Yeah, It'll be the first uh, like recent mm-hmm. MCU movie, so that will be on there. I mean, this is just already too good to pass up. <laughs> okay, so we'll move on from from Marvel, and then they're gonna. Um, you can talk about your cooking show if you want to. Now. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna be. Is I don't, I don't even know what it, exactly it's called. I thought it was like be our chef or something like that. It's be our guest, a Disney inspired cooking competition at Walt Disney World. So I guess oh, it will be filmed at Walt Disney World. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Wow! So learn go, how to make weird looking desserts. Let's go be a part of it. <laughs> let's be contestants yeah. on it. You have one hour to make a giant turkey leg. Go. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And then they're doing, I think they're doing some other shows like that. They're doing a lot of documentary stuff. Um, As far as like the Animal Kingdom and stuff. There's a possible Muppet series, maybe. (laughs) Maybe. Another Muppet series. Hopefully this one will be good. (laughs) <laughs> I can never quite get them going again. <laughs> you know, it'd be awesome is if you, they had a channel dedicated, or not a channel, but a um, series or something dedicated to just the um, in-room channel that you get at, at <laughs> Disney World, Disney, Disney Resorts, where it talks about all the rides and things you could do. <laughs> it's I like, like that'd be so that, great. I had that on like all day long. I know, right? <laughs> and, but. So it, either, it, but it could have bad, uh, an ill effect. It might mean that people are like, "Well, this is all I really need." <laughs> it's like, I just, I need to live through these people's lives on, <laughs> on this channel. <laughs> and Catherine, you'll be excited. They are doing a High School Musical series. Yes. Yeah, I remember seeing that. I, just, uh, um, I really didn't see those. Um, I think I watched them, but it. it <laughs> Don't be mistaken. It's not one of my favorites. <laughs> but I, I think I will, I, I will watch it uh, if I get the channel. So Yeah, I think they already had a picture out of the cast. And one yeah. of the people is the one of the girls from a current Disney show, um, the Zardvark. <laughs> which I'm like, oh, is that show going to work? We have the Disney <laughs> channel on. There's small kids in our house. I don't know. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's why. <sighs> and it's like, well, there's not... <laughs> There's not much you could put on. Like I'll be like, "Oh, I'll watch this," while the kids are doing that, and I'm like, "Nope, can't watch that because they don't use language in that." That like, even if it's like you know, like darn or something, I still don't want my kids saying that. Ah, they they're 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 young yet. They won't they won't pick it up yet. No, no, <laughs> it's not what happens, Chris. <laughs> it happened today. We watched uh, uh, Despicable Me, and uh, at the end, the bad guy's stuck on the moon. And he just goes, "Oh my butt," or something like that. And Chris <laughs> or and Grant's like, "Oh my butt!" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see him saying that. Yeah. <laughs> so we used to watch um, Alaska: The Last Frontier all the time. I don't know if I told you all this story. I can't repeat the whole thing because it's the um, it wouldn't be appropriate for our show. But um, there was one time we were so Charlie was obsessed with it. My son was obsessed. And uh, one time we were working on something outside at my in-laws house and uh, 
he decided to repeat some things they would have said in there. And we were just like, what? <laughs> it was, yeah, it was funny. I'll have to tell you later. But <laughs> it was bad. He didn't realize that he was saying something bad. He just, you know, it was just yeah. something he saw on this show that we didn't think about. So, yeah. yeah. It happens earlier. In my one and a half year old uh, today, <laughs> something happened and she goes, oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, really? You don't say anything. That's what you say. Yeah. That's right. Apparently, here's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I think Grant was saying it. And I'm like, don't say that because she's going to start saying it. And then she goes, oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, oh, so there's going to be a live action Lady in the Tramp movie. Of hey. course. <laughs> yeah. I've already seen filming stuff or the, uh, on location stuff for that. Um, How are they going to get the two dogs to, to slurp up the spaghetti? Yeah. Hey. They tie them down to the <laughs> no <laughs> animal cruelty. No, <laughs> it's all done in it's it's live action, uh, so they'll have a uh, CGI probably, like know. like the Lion King. Yeah, right? It's live action, so it won't be live action. No, <laughs> and a Sword in the Stone remake. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I like sort of stone. I, they, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do with that. I just don't understand. Here's my problem. Don't they have original ideas anymore? No. <laughs> that, that that that's that's a uh, you don't know what's going to happen there. Like if you do stuff that's already been done, well then it's going to be you're going to get a ton of money for it. Yes, you can it do does. it better. <laughs> no. Really. Yeah. Because the Lion King <laughs> trailer came out, did you did you guys watch it? Yeah, it looks just like the Lion King. I want to give a hand to Ray Chase um, on for posting yeah. on social media what he thought of it because <laughs> I thought the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, I it didn't do anything for me. No, like well, I guess I could just go watch Lion King right now. Yeah. <laughs> Be good, yeah. And then turn on the Animal Planet, and you could see real lions running around. And there you mm-hmm. go. As mm-hmm. Hannah Montana would say, you get the best of both worlds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So again, there's going to be a lot of documentaries. There's going to be a, an, a Disney, a Walt Disney Imagineering documentary, which that will be pretty interesting if they do it right. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, three. I don't even want to say this one. Uh, three Men and a Baby remake. Mm-hmm. There it is. There you go. Which I'm sure will be followed with the Three Man and a Little Lady. Or in this case, they may switch it up and it may be Three Man and a Little Boy. Uh, lady Boy. Lady Boy. Oh, no. No, that's not right. going to go there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> As long as they have like a ghost of like I was some kid s- in the background, <laughs> wasn't that the thing that they had some? There was a ghost in one of the, in that movie, yeah, or something? which turned yeah. out to be like a cardboard cutout or something. No, it turned out to be a uh, just somebody working on set that got stuck. Yeah, uh, on set yeah. when they started filming, so he just hid back there, <laughs> like a boom operator or something. The war. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a sand a Sandlot TV show. They'll be doing that with apparently the original actors. Well, there you go. Killing me, Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> My son uh, says that phrase and he's never seen that movie. I don't know where he's heard it. <laughs> he said it last night and I was, I was laughing, but I was like, well, wait a second. <laughs> they had a picture on Twitter to the uh, cast from it. With standing with somebody that had the shirt on. Oh yeah, saw that. Yeah, and then and it was like he didn't know who we were or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then there's gonna be a Monsters Inc. Did we mention that Monsters Inc. show? Oh yeah, Monsters Inc. show with with, the, with John Goodman and uh, Billy Crystal. Billy, yeah. So so that's good. I I'm wondering how well the animation's gonna be for that. So we're gonna really kind of. Dumb it down. It's yeah. going to be a musical. Exactly. It's going to be uh, based on the uh, the great musical. Put that thing back where he came from, or, or so help me. So, uh, oh, well. it should be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
put that thing back where it came from. Or so cut me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like the um, the uh, Lego movies versus the Lego shows. So yeah. my son watches a lot of Ninjago, and uh, it looks like Legos on the show, but <laughs> it's it's still not the same because the like the textures and things are just different. The things the vehicles are not built out of Legos most some of the times, and it. Yeah. But yeah. when you watch the movie, it's like this is this looks like toys in a movie. Whereas the show is just a cartoon, kind of. But even yeah. though they look like Legos, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> they may do but like they did with Tangled. I don't know if you saw the Tangled series. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Cause It'll that, probably be something like that. I'm sure that costs a lot of money to do animation like that, right? And you could oh, yeah. keep that up for that the long. <laughs> animation, like the time that it takes and yeah. the rendering time. They, Yeah, they'll, they'll probably go 2D, kind of probably like Flash or something type. Sure. Animation. Chris, are you, are you drinking out of a flower vase? <laughs> <laughs> it's That's the only way I drink. <laughs> Sorry. And it's the, not water. I know the listeners can't see, but you just picked up this glass that legitimately looks like a flower vase. <laughs> Maybe it is. Like hey. You take the flowers out. It's like, man, I'm thirsty. And there's nothing else around. <laughs> well, when you're thirsty... Whatever you can get a hold of, that's what you drink. I don't always drink from a flower vase. But, but when I when do, I do <laughs> it's, when I it's do. a short one. <laughs> it's moldy water. You can it. put some succulents in there. Mm-hmm. It'll be good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Sorry. Apparently <laughs> for your shorter flowers. Technically, Ryan, you're not supposed to really water your succulents that much. So they shouldn't be <laughs> dripping with water like that. That's so. why he's drinking, because he realized, oh, there's too much oh, water I in over these succulents. Water succulents. <laughs> <laughs> I overwatered my succulents. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, that's succulents. <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry, listeners. My fellow <laughs> I'm geekers. Uh, anyways, okay, so, <laughs> but that let's move on to the the main attraction. Oh, for me, oh, anyways, the main with, attraction with Disney Plus, the Star Wars universe is having their own lineup. Um, of course, dun, 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 dun. they're gonna have a Mandalorian um, show. Yes, uh, from John I, Favreau. Yeah, I love the Mandalorian. <laughs> My favorite instrument. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Mandalorian. I play with this. <laughs> For those that don't know what a Mandalorian is, it's not a musical instrument, right? No, that would be a mandolin, which I oh, which man. I play. <laughs> which when when I do play it, it has been called every instrument but a mandolin. Um, people are like I like your banjo, and I'm like. Tiny Angel, guitar, like your tiny guitar. My favorite though was one time I played. I was doing a thing and I played, and this guy came up afterwards. He goes, "Man, that Mexican banjo sure was good tonight." And I'm like, <laughs> <A> "Mexican banjo." <laughs> I'm like, thank you. I don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> it is very good. <laughs> like, I, I've never heard of a Mexican banjo, but I guess I played it. The Mandalorian. So it'll be following the story of. Boba Fett? Um, no. Maybe? No? Mandalorian. A Mandalorian. Oh. Who's Mandalorian then? Boba Fett wears Mandalorian armor. Oh, okay. Yeah, Mandalorians are a, 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 a race. Group, a group, a nation. Yeah. Yeah. A planet. planet. Yeah. Well, they're on a planet. They're in the, That's... uh, they're in, uh, Star Wars Rebels a lot. I gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't yeah, which know. Which that, that character might be from Star Wars Rebels that Character might be in it supposedly. Yeah. Um, your names? Oh, um, Naveen? Naveen? Hmm? Naveen? Sure. <laughs> the Navi? No. The Navi will be in there? No. Um, oh, gracious. Hold on. I'll tell you. Everybody gets a show. <laughs> we don't have to spend this much time on this i don't think so i wouldn't be surprised if like uh avatar gets <laughs> yeah they'll probably... that's true yeah um they'll just, put, they'll just make the movies and put them directly on disney plus yeah. straight to disney plus <laughs> so straight to video straight to vhs oh sabine i was close sabine, sabine. 
Yeah, mm. that, that seems close enough. Navi, Navi, yeah. Sabine, Sabine, Navi, Rin. Sabine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That would be cool if yeah. there was like a live action version of her because she's a pretty cool character. She is cool. Character. Thoroughly enjoyed Star Wars Rebels. Mm-hmm. I haven't watched any of the new one. I watched two episodes and fell asleep. It's, no. It's 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 just, just the look of it kind of turned me away. It's not good. Kinda, well, that the yeah. funny thing that mural that they have at um at Celebration Star Wars Celebration um includes Rebels and includes like all this other stuff, but Resistance is not in it anywhere. Mm, that's what's under the sheet. Come on. Yeah. Oh, not. <laughs> Bigger they, and better than ever. They're not revealing anything. They just got a lot of backlash, so they just covered it up. Like, oh, no, yeah. don't show that. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure where that where was it available though? To watch that Disney, Disney Channel. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was on something else. I think okay. it was on Disney Channel and Disney XD, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I've seen it on Disney Channel, and I. Like I even like I put it on. I was like to my son. I was like, "You want to watch um, some more of this?" And he's like, "Nope." <laughs> he just like flat out said, "Nope." Like sometimes I'd be like, "Ah," and he just flat out said, "Nope, don't want to watch that." Mm-hmm. Said, okay. Good choice, kid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and the, but they're also doing a new season of Star Wars: The Clone Wars, Ooh. exclusive to Disney Plus. It's it's all about the baby hut. Oh gosh, I hope not. <laughs> Personally, I would rather see more rebels, but that's just me. Yeah, they ended it where you're like, I want to see that, and yeah, they did continue it. Yeah, so maybe they will one day. I don't know. But so yeah, new Star Wars going. There's a lot of people excited about that. I'm excited about it, but you know, I'd rather see. Um, Rebels. And there's going to be a Star Wars Rogue One prequel TV series starring <laughs> um, Cassian. Yeah. Diego. 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 Diego Luna. Luna. Yeah. Diego Luna. Which I didn't realize that he played Apocalypse. No, he didn't. No. That was Oscar <laughs> Isaacs. Oh, sorry. I got him confused. <laughs> I saw it when I was in the hospital uh, overnight. <laughs> and I was like, hey, that's a different Star Wars movie. <laughs> You were, you were on drugs. I time. was. So, yeah. um, no, Diego Luna voiced uh, the character in The Book of Life, the lead character. In oh, that. Cool. Uh, oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that was cool. But yeah, but yeah so he's... <clears throat> and, and they announced that Alan Tudyk... All these to fun names to pronounce tonight. <laughs> I know, there's a lot of fun names tonight <laughs> <laughs> that we're totally mispronouncing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Emilia. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's coming back as K two. Yeah. I don't remember the last other five five oh nine or five nine oh. I don't know. Sure. The the robot that we were everyone bad tonight. loved. We did no research today. <laughs> you shouldn't have loved because it's just like Game of Thrones. You like a character. Don't like the character. Well, everybody yeah. died. K two S O. Yeah, but uh, yeah. No, that's not. K two S O. Yeah. No, so no, he'll that's, be back. The, that's potassium sulfate. Not that. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming back. He's playing potassium sulfate. The I'm. I see an Oscar in his future for playing it's potassium just sulfate. K two S O. K two S O. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, Which is cool. Yeah, so it's gonna be cool. Yeah, there. I mean, originally there was a different ending for for Rogue One. Did you know that? Ooh. Yeah. More people died. No, that basically people all <laughs> everybody lived. Um. But then they decided that oh, these guys are never mentioned again. <laughs> so we should probably <laughs> kill them all. Because originally they didn't think Disney was gonna allow them to kill off everybody. So they presented mm-hmm. him with the one thing, but then they said, but when we have this other idea, and Disney was like, okay, do that. And they're like, oh, really? Okay. Everybody dies. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they were just like, we want to kill them. Like, I don't know. Well, their parents, okay, yeah, kill them. <laughs> kill all the parents. <laughs> what we do here at Disney? <laughs> kill the parents. At least one of them. This is true. <laughs> Sometimes two. 
<laughs> Sometimes I just don't have any at all. Get a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> Two dead parents for the price of one. <laughs> uh, but then they'll have all the Star Wars films will be on Disney Plus at, at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, and Pixar films. Um, the new ones, starting with Toy Story 4, will be the first one. Yeah, <laughs> you're just sorry, you're just a... upset because you know you're gonna cry the whole time. I'm just not excited to cry for like two hours. <laughs> All it's gonna be, but it's, but it's a spork. <laughs> yeah, it's a spork that's like hates being alive. <laughs> <laughs> And what have you done to me? And he tries to jump out a window. I should be in a landfill. <laughs> like, oh, gosh. <laughs> and now we'll go through every all the 400 films that we think will be on Disney+. Uh, Plus, mm. Starting with number one. Country Bears. <laughs> number two. The Little Mermaid, part two. Ariel's Daughter. <laughs> That's the name of it. Yeah. <laughs> Just jump in anytime. Number three, <laughs> Little Mermaid. We made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, so that pretty much wraps up most all of their content that they've announced. I'm sure there'll be other stuff coming too, but. How do you guys think this is going to affect um, Netflix? I, I don't see Netflix going away. No, I don't uh, think it'll go away. But, but yeah, like, uh, hopefully they'll bring their price down again. Um, <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> it'll, like, I, I think Netflix to me anymore, like, they have kids shows on there, but it's it seems more adult. That's like, true. A no. lot of their movies and stuff they've got some kids stuff on there but I yeah we watch it every day yeah. you know, I mean, name all the shows there's mother goose of songs there's color forms remember color forms the toy they color, got, color they forms? Got a show they have a show on there now for kids hmm. wow it's it's a it's a show to learn about shapes and stuff it's it's not bad um, nobody I mean, <laughs> They'll have like Warner Brothers stuff, DreamWorks, so they'll have some kids stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just looking at like, especially at our life stage right now. I'm like, okay, Disney Plus, Netflix. Like, if I had to pick one, what's what am I going to pick right now? And to me, it's sort of like, well, I'll do I'll do Disney Plus, and then if there's a series on Netflix, then I'll get it for a month, binge it, and then turn it back off. I'm gonna. Probably doing the opposite. We're gonna keep Netflix, but then when they when they build up, it's like what we do with HBO. When something builds up, we go, we binge it, then we get rid of it. Yeah. Well, I'm just yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think it's gonna deter- depend on what your life stage is. Mm-hmm. And then there's gonna be people that just get them all and be like, I got them all. Yeah. <laughs> I got them all. Yeah. yeah. We're we're cord cutters. Like we don't have cable at our house, and we mm-hmm. we've said we're just gonna do everything online and. You know, watch these things, and it's but it's kind of funny because they've got all these services now, and it it's the nice thing about it is you can pick and choose what you want. Mm-hmm. But soon enough, it's like you you buy enough of these services that you're paying the same thing you were with cable. <laughs> but the, <laughs> that's but, how they yeah. get you. <laughs> but you're paying for what you want, right? Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So that's yeah. where it makes it feel like it's worth it. We'll we were talking about it a little bit tonight, and uh, you know, it's like what will we get rid of? Because it's like there's plenty of things that we watch on Netflix um, and things that my son doesn't watch, but he does watch things on there like magic school bus. He watches the old and the new and that won't be on Disney, but yeah. um, he'll go between these shows and just binge. He'll watch them over and over again. Not really binge, just watch them, you know, as much as he can. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I think it's going to be, it. it's going to be different for every family because there's, some people just don't have kids and they hate Disney, right? So they're they're yeah. never going to change. Um, but you know, we talked about it and, and I could see us doing both because yeah. 
it's right now it's only six dollars right when it comes out and it, that's that's like a meal for one meal you know well, my son doesn't to need to eat that day for one person <laughs> you know that's not it's not that much but the problem is I'm again sorry, all, we're watching lion king today you can't eat <laughs> <laughs> the problem is that all it, it all just builds up because we have amazon prime and netflix already yeah and then add this and it's just again it adds up I wish we could get rid of Amazon Prime because there's very little that we watch on there, but we order so much from Amazon. Yeah, that yeah it, that's what it's we got. Worth it, it just to have that for the free. Sh- I think it is for the free shipping. It's we we tell ourselves it is, and 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 we listen. And I use the music like crazy. The the Amazon music is really good. Like you can, I've been able to find a lot of things that either I used to listen to or I've never listened to before, and um, so we get our money's worth out of it. Um, but it's still, it's just like, golly, how many of these services am I going to need? <laughs> but I, I don't know. Um, our son's kind of gotten away a little bit from watching Disney things, but that's also because we don't have the Disney Channel. Mm-hmm. Um, he'll watch a Disney movie every once in a while, but it's we'd have to own it, I guess, right now. Or it's on Netflix, you know, which yeah. everything's going off there. So I, I imagine we'll probably have it at least for a while and then if we decide we're not watching netflix anymore then we'll probably drop it but yeah we'll see if it was just disney it'd be one thing but since they own like everything now yeah it's like yeah. they're gonna have all the star wars <laughs> yeah. all the marvel all the you know sure. fox stuff all the it's yeah. just like yeah the, there's yeah, it's it's the tv shows like the yeah. actual shows that they're going to be making just for that that'll get me to get it because i already have most of the movies like I've I've bought them. If if I want them, I I, I just get the movie. Yeah. I just watch it whenever. Yeah. But, um, Two laps. That's a yeah. I'll just. <laughs> Isn't that funny though? Because here's the thing. So, um, it's like watchathon right now. Because we have cable. We said we didn't have cable for a while, but then when we moved here, they were like, if you just want internet, it's this much, and it was like more to just to get internet than it was to get the bundle which is mm-hmm. dumb. Mm-hmm. So uh, this is like a promotional thing, and then they just kept extending it. Um, but something was on, like, I was trying to find it. We made cookies today, and we were going to watch a movie. Because my wife's out of town. Uh, and I said, I was looking through some things, and there was like some Disney movies that they had on there for free. I'm like, oh, we could watch this. We haven't watched that in a while. And then I, I remember, that's sitting on the shelf right there, the the, yeah. the DVD or the Blu-ray. <laughs> oh yeah. But now I'm excited because I can just hit play and not have to go get the disc out. <laughs> well, that's one of the things we miss about yeah. having cable. It's like you could turn on uh, ABC Family, which is now Freeform, right? And 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 watch these marathons of like uh, Harry Potter, right? Mm-hmm. For instance, and we have mm-hmm. Harry Potter movies, and we could throw them in any time. But if it's on TV, or if it's easy to access it, um, we're gonna maybe watch it but yeah. then there's sometimes that will like there are movies that i like or i wanted to see but it's like ah, i don't really don't want to watch it but it, <laughs> but if it were on tv i would have been more likely to watch it if we just happened on it yeah you know? yeah we got um we got rid of our cable we got hulu live so mm-hmm. we still have like the live stuff so we still record things mm-hmm. because like we can still watch cbs on hulu live but hulu doesn't have cbs type thing uh, but I always end up, it seems since we got this, that, uh, when, yeah, when you turn the TV on, just to find something on, I'm just putting on guys, grocery games. <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> and it just, I just, I just put it on. And it just goes from episode to episode. And I'm just like, I just keep this on while I'm doing that's, stuff. That's so, <laughs> that show cracks me up because every contestant <laughs> that they have on there, it's like, they've never heard of the show or the concept of the show before. Yeah, because they're like, "Here's your shopping cart." You go, oh wait, there's a twist. It's like, what? I've never heard of this before. What's happening? There's a twist. <laughs> and every time it's like three, two, one, go. He's like, "Okay, there's three of you now. Then there'll be two, and then there'll be uh, one. And then someone's gonna go uh, for a shopping spree." And then he just sits there, and all they all sit there. I'm like, and then he says it again. <laughs> really dig these people up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and for the next thirty minutes, we're going to talk about guys' grocery games. Did you see the one? <laughs> I remember can do a whole episode on that. <laughs> remember that episode? It cracks me up. 
Uh, and then how they, sorry, now you got me started. And how the judges, <laughs> always, and most of the, I mean, the people that they have on there on most episodes are legit chefs and know how to cook. Yeah. yeah. And then the judges judge their food and they're like, well, I don't, I don't care for this at all. I'm like, you gave them five minutes to make a three course meal. <laughs> what the heck do you expect? You uh, can yeah. only use frozen peas. Yeah. Like how, like... I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. I don't like the way you chose to use the Twinkie in this meatloaf dish. I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> what do you expect? Didn't really get a choice here. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's like a lot of those those shows. You know, it's, yeah. they give them so little time, and you feel bad for it. But then you got to think it's like, well, they only get so little time. <laughs> so yeah, it's not fair anyway. So they they need to understand that and quit crying. I've seen- we're just talking about this show now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a solid episode. Because, yeah, Guy never cooks on them. Like, but there's been a couple episodes where he's actually, like, cooked something. Where he just, like, as they're doing stuff, he just kind of wanders over, grabs some stuff. Like, whips something up in, like, five minutes and gives it to the judges. They're like, yeah, this is how you do this one. Yeah, this is really good. <laughs> and they're all, like, sweating, trying to get things done. It's just like, he's just whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a funny show. Cooking shows are funny. I like mm-hmm. that. I saw a clip of, uh, this is how we're going to end this episode, I guess. <laughs> so let us know on social media if you're going to get Disney+. Plus. Anyways, I saw a clip of, <laughs> of Gordon Ra- Ramsay uh, making... Um, Pancakes. Pad Thai, I think, or something oh. like that. For a chef, that that's what they make. Hmm. And he presented it to him. And the chef took a bite and gave him this like dirty look. And he's like, "What? You don't like it?" And the ro- so the roles were were completely reversed. No. <laughs> and he's like, "No, that's horrible. That's no good." <laughs> and all the stuff. And he's like, "Are you serious?" He's like, "I thought it was good." He's like, "No, it's supposed to be sweet, savory, all at the same time." No, yours isn't good at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. It made me laugh. It's awesome. But anyways. So, yeah, so Star Wars Celebration is going on right now. So we will have, I guess, next week all the news, unless we sneak in a special episode between now and then. But prob- I don't know, maybe. I don't know. We'll see maybe. how our schedule is. Mm-hmm. So I'm expecting there's going to be, you know, the, I'm sure there's going to be a teaser trailer along with news. And there's going to be a Disney Parks panel about Galaxy's Edge, uh, I think, on Saturday. That should uh, hopefully... Give some new well, information, maybe. Hopefully, there's a new, uh, another droids panel. Where they, you can build droids, all the toys that we went to. I don't know if you remember that panel. Oh, the the <laughs> Lego one. No, it's no. like it's like where you could you could build like little toy droids, like you can do an arm from this one and a leg from this one. Oh, for the Disney and, park. Oh, okay, for the Disney. Uh, merchandise. Yes. <laughs> panel. Yes. Yeah. That was so boring. That was the most boring panel. I think I fell <laughs> asleep in that one. I either fell asleep in that one or the Lego one. I was just like, I'm gone, and I was just asleep, and I slept through half of it. <laughs> I think we went to it thinking, oh, they're gonna get, they're gonna do giveaways, right? And then they, yeah, they didn't do it. Didn't do it. <laughs> if you've never been to one of these conventions. I I recommend going once to something like either a Comic Con like, type thing or a Star like Comic Palooza. Comic Palooza would be a great star. If you're around mm-hmm. Houston, May 10th through 12th. If you're not around Houston, then just find some cheap flights and fly, fly in. Because <laughs> uh, there, it's like this weird. How do you even describe it? Eco ecosystem. ecosystem. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> so different and so cool, and you got to experience it at least once. Now, not. Like Star Wars Celebration is crazy, just like mm. San Diego Comic Con is not so. Uh, mm. So smaller ones aren't going to be as crazy. But like I remember when we went to the Star Wars Celebration, you can go back and listen to those episodes. Um, it was a madhouse. Yep, madhouse. <laughs> but we still had a blast. But anyways, so that's gonna going to do it for this episode, I think. Hey, big congratulations to the man, Becky Lynch, for winning the SmackDown and Raw World Champ- Women's World Championship on WrestleMania this last Sunday. I know you guys watched. 
Oh yeah, yeah. This is the uh, first dual champ. Front row and center for women's. Yes, um, Katrin. Yes. Real quick, Uh-oh. before we go, we had a comment on our Facebook group. I am group. It says, just listen to the joke. This is from Greg Jones. Shout out to Greg Jones. Whoop, whoop. Just listen to the Jokerverse episode. The tiny Elvis reference was my favorite part, <laughs> which is mine too. <laughs> mine too, Greg. Have you talked about Umbrella Academy yet? <laughs> <laughs> we got to get the Umbrella Academy episode in. Just, he'll have to listen to find out. <laughs> It's like the Bandersnatch. We we were talking about that the other night. It's like we need to do a Bandersnatch Umbrella Academy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff popping up on our on social media. Somebody's talked. Did you see the Disney Plus stuff? And I'm like, oh, we're recording an episode right now. As a matter of fact. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. We we have not talked about the Umbrella Academy. But it is it is good. Keep, it keep is listening. Good. keep will. listening. It'll it'll be here one day. <laughs> we'll get there one of these days. Or we'll do what we did with Bandersnatch, and we'll be like, "Hey, did you guys enjoy the Bandersnatch episode we did?" And then that's all we say about it <laughs> because there wasn't one. No, oh. we just pretended like there was. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so more news on Comic Plus are coming up. Hopefully, when I get the clear to say what's going on. We did get our buttons and our stickers in, so we have um, buttons that look like um, sort of the Infinity Gauntlet with our I'm Geek logo, um, and then we have some stickers for the uh, Battle Royale yeah. with cheese. Yes. Uh, so okay. these are like you know limited edition. So if you want to get yeah. them, you got to be there in person. And once they're gone, they're gone. <laughs> you might be able to find them on eBay or something. <laughs> Selling for five thousand dollars on there, Ooh. <laughs> like uh, like Avengers Endgame tickets. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't I haven't got any tickets for that yet. Oh, got mine. Yeah. Went on eBay, paid five thousand dollars. Uh, no, ticket. you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll probably go on a five dollar Tuesday. I wish we had five dollar Tuesday at Malco. Sorry. Ours are either if you go during the day it's nine dollars and if you go at night it's like twelve dollars or something. So Yeah, we got a cereal box that had uh had the Avengers on it and it said get a get a thirteen dollar movie ticket with um Jeez. so many box purchases and I, I just laughed. I was like <laughs> I was like <laughs> who pays thirteen dollars to go to the movie? <laughs> <laughs> I pay five dollars. Only on Tuesdays, though. Yeah. Only on Tuesdays. But I think I'm going to splurge this weekend if I can and go see Shazam. Shazam! Chris saw Shazam. I, I saw Shazam. Shazam! <laughs> Are you going? The story of Gomer Pyle. Shazam! Um, briefly, I mean, I'm sure we'll do an episode on it, but briefly, did you enjoy it? Did you? I did enjoy it. I I enjoyed it. Uh, quite well. It was good. Um, I think I think I enjoyed it more than Captain Marvel. Oh, scandal! I know, <laughs> scandalous. I liked the original Captain Marvel. That's what he was called in the comics before Shazam. Shazam. Yeah, Shazam. There you go. It was originally Captain Marvel. Um, I mean, I, not that I didn't like Captain Marvel, dislike Captain Marvel, but uh, Shazam was just fun. It was just a fun movie. Any surprises? Like, don't tell us, but if there is like, uh, what they are. There would have been a surprise if I'd not seen something before the movie. Oh. I won't say what, because then you may see it and go, oh, okay. Yeah, don't say um, that. So I won't say it. Is there, a, but, is there an end credit scene? Do we need to stay? There, There's a... There's a um, a couple of things, yeah. So stay till the after the credits. Okay. There's like a mid credit thing, and then there's an after credit thing. Is is there a big floor piano in a toy store? In I, I, I don't. I don't want to give anything away. 
<laughs> from from Big. From Big, yeah. <laughs> it's Superman cross with Big. <laughs> is that how he uses his powers? Movie. He gets is that um, uh, fortune telling machine. Fortune. <laughs> yeah. Except I want to be it's, Big. It's Batman. It's it's a fortune teller machine. That's Batman. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Swear to me. <laughs> <laughs> Martha. Anyways. <laughs> Why did you say that name? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Don't even get me started on that movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We will be joined at our uh, battle, our uh, Royal with Cheese, by some other podcasts. So they're going to be coming in and they're going to be on teams and it's going to be a big battle. There'll be swords and what no bases you know it's not gonna be but there there may be talk of swords i hope people don't get the wrong swords i meant s words sorry i get that yeah lots of s words will be shouted i was thinking the other night i said i I hope people don't get the wrong idea of it and think it's uh we're playing Fortnite or something because the 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 format is battle royale is what they call Uh, it (laughs) Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, we were cool Marking. before it was cool to be bad. Oh, I know. Yeah. I think it was funny. It's like we had it before. Well, yeah. No, we did. Before we yeah. had that before Fortnite, definitely. We did. They stole it from us. It probably looks did. like they stole all those dance moves. <laughs> Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, my, my son says, This dance is from Fortnite. I was like, No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Which dance did he do the dance? I don't remember now. <laughs> Next time, can you just videotape him? Doing I can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> did I tell the story on here that I did a uh, Fortnite dance in front of some kids to freak them out? Like just random kids? No, I was driving down the street and they were on the corner. And then when cars passed, they would do Fortnite dances at the cars. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. And so I stopped my car and did the one with the loser sign on your head back at yeah. them, and they all went, that's so crazy. And he was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Started running around and throwing stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> the old man knows Fortnite dances. <laughs> you can buy a shirt that has all of the dances on it. You need to get that so you can learn them all. Anyways, so next week's episode 100. Oh, it's big. Yeah, we'll probably have something planned for that. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we should talk about all the things that we've, we've said we we're going to talk about. <laughs> Save that for the 100th episode. Well, technically, I mean, we'll probably talk about Star Wars Celebration next. So unless we make that a special episode, um, yeah. it'll be episode 100. <laughs> or will it? Oh, could be ninety nine point seven. <laughs> wait, that's a wait, that's a the radio station Kiss FM ninety nine point seven. Is it Kiss FM? <laughs> I mean, uh, it probably is in some city. <laughs> no, oh no, in Johnson City it was ninety eight point seven, right? That was the yeah, uh, ninety eight point seven. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, we missed that opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! Let's go back. Let's bandersnatch this. Go back. <laughs> oh, okay. So I, we we're already over, but this is very. I have like a conspiracy theory. We, okay. So we've talked about this before. I like conspiracy theories on here, but this one is just for me and Chris. But I'm going to say it on here anyways. Do uh-huh. you remember somebody at Science Hill? Because I'm sure we have all our Science Hill uh, alumni listeners on here. That's our high school. Oh. Whose name was Mister Moats? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I remember Mr. Motes. Mr. Mo. Okay, so he's real. Okay. Because here's the thing. Somebody posted I didn't dream it. No, somebody posted on um a Science Hill Facebook group, the alumni for my year of graduating, said, Does anybody have a picture of Mr. Motes? Because I'm trying to find one and I can't. If you have the the yearbooks, let me know. So people are responding. I've looked through all of our yearbooks. He's not mentioned. There's no pictures. 
<laughs> it's like he was this ghost that came in and taught kids and then disappeared. So I'm like, well, maybe he's, maybe I can Google it. Maybe he's online. I Google it, no mention anywhere. There's nothing. And I'm pretty sure, okay, he was a study hall teacher. So he could have been a ghost. Who knows? <laughs> but I also think he was a wrestling coach because I think I remember him helping coach wrestling. Did he have like a beard? I don't, I don't think I ever met him. I just remember people talking of him. So <laughs> maybe it is an urban myth. I, I think it's like an urban <laughs> myth or urban legend. Mister Moats <laughs> is not real, or he was a ghost I, or something. He wasn't. He wasn't Liberty Bell, was he? No, he was at Science Hill. I'm, okay. I'm pretty sure. I didn't go to Liberty Bell. I no, just went to. He was at Science Hill, so. and he did. And and when they were talking on the thing, they were like, "What did he teach?" And everybody was like. I think he just taught study hall. Like that's <laughs> all he did. He was a sidekick. So, I, maybe he was a substitute or something. No, yeah. no, he was always there. Everybody talked about him. I'm pretty sure he was an assistant wrestling coach, if I remember correctly. I don't know, but it's weird. It freaked me out. I'm like, wow, there's really no mention of him anywhere. I gotta look in my yearbooks. It's like he's gonna race from existence, (laughs) or he was the ghost of some teacher from long ago, or something. (laughs) (laughs) I yeah, it was it was sort of weird. Weird, Mister Moats. If you're out there, we're looking for you. (laughs) Thanks for listening. Yeah, it's gonna be like that uh, (laughs) uh, Rhett and Link thing where they started out looking for their first grade teacher. They made a documentary about it. Uh, called Searching for Mrs. Locklear. And they finally found her. So maybe we should, this should be ours. <laughs> you need to find Mr. Moats. Searching for Mr. Moats. <laughs> Man. All right. We got to find him, but mm-hmm. we won't. Probably won't. <laughs> I'll get our parents on it. I'll, since they're still in Johnson City, I'm like, here's what I need you to do. They okay. know They know everybody. They can find us. I need you to go to Science Hill. <laughs> I need you to find the record room. Break into the records. <laughs> I think you just ask. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. This no, isn't no, a movie no. or a no, TV no, no. show. You just go ask somebody. I mean, what would be the likelihood that he's it's still illegal. there? Because no, it's a conspiracy. You just ask them. They'll go, oh, no, there's never been a Mr. Moats here. But really, there is. There is. <laughs> he's like eternal. Yeah. He's been there forever yeah. since the beginning yeah, of deep science. Deep dive into those records. There's probably a grave site on, on Science Hill campus. Yeah. He was like the original hilltopper, probably. <laughs> it, was, it was like when they were pouring concrete in a new sidewalk, he accidentally oh. fell in it and got encased. Oh, no. Then he's a ghost there. I was going to say he like lives in the boiler room or something. like Maybe that. so. It's yeah. a phantom of the hilltop. No, he's, he's <laughs> a phantom of hilltop. <laughs> trapped in. That was our mascot. And... Our mascot was the hilltopper. Hilltoppers. It was a hat and cane, right? <laughs> it's a top and hat. Gloves. And gloves. And gloves. Yeah. yeah, that made a lot of sense. No um, sense at all. <laughs> now I want the mascot to be Mr. Moe. <laughs> it's a mystery. Yeah. <laughs> Call our friends at the Conspired Podcast. And... <laughs> <laughs> Ask her to figure this out for us. Isn't that It'll weird, like though? Like, you would Witch think project. he would be in some picture or he would be in the faculty listing or maybe he was a vampire. Something. He couldn't take a picture of him. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird though. There you go. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to have nightmares. episode 100 search for Mr. Motes. Search for Mr. Motes <laughs> or coach Motes. Maybe. I don't know. Coach Motes. Or Mrs. Motes. I don't think there follow. was a Mrs. Moats. <laughs> follow the money. That's what you follow the money. Follow the money. <laughs> yeah. Like, wonder what happened if I called Science Hill tomorrow and be like, hey, I just want to know. Quit calling me. Uh, <laughs> there is no Mr. Moats. Quit calling here. <laughs> Quit. You, I'm going to get you, kids. <laughs> You're prank calling. <laughs> I don't even know where my happen. yearbooks are anymore. I Why do we keep? Is, them? I don't know. You know, I, I we um, had them when we moved. We when they were in a box, and uh, I looked at all the signatures, and uh, I'm like, oh gosh, 
<laughs> I signed your crack. Yeah, it's just horrible. <laughs> Do that, like, have a great summer. Yeah, see you next year. Or... Let's hang out. Yeah, yeah, stupid. We didn't hang out this year. Who are you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have one that's well, completely let's... blank because one yeah. year I was sick the day of your book signing, so nothing got signed. Uh, <laughs> but it, yeah, but you look back and you're like, I hung out with that guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On my bookshelf, but I don't. I don't know where they went. It's okay. <laughs> it's so, all right. I'm gonna These search are for memories, them. People. Yeah, I gotta search for them. It's actually can't confirmed. hardly wait. One of the great movies. Greg Jones will appreciate that as well. Yeah. Greg Jones, you're still in Johnson City. I need you to track down Mr. <laughs> Motes. Please track him down. <laughs> we'll have some more info info on him next week, hopefully. All our <laughs> listeners are going to be waiting like, oh gosh, what happened to Mr. Motes? <laughs> the mysterious case of Mr. Motes. Yeah. He was such a good study hall teacher. <laughs> what is a study hall teacher? You sit, <laughs> they sit there and go, be quiet. <laughs> yeah. Hey, be quiet over there. <laughs> study. I'm Mr. Motes. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be a great job. It's like, what's your teaching plan? I just sit there and tell people to be quiet. Yell at them. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Thank you for joining us on episode ninety nine. Hopefully, we'll have more Star Wars information from Celebration out soon. And keep checking our social medias for all the latest news at I Am Geek Show or yeah, I Am Geek Show on Twitter and then. I'm Geek on Facebook. And I'm Geek Show on Instagram too, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. On Twitch. On Twitch. Watch on us Twitch. try to play video games. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want a uh, I Am Geek Battle Royale with Cheese t shirt, they're out now. <laughs> on uh, uh, going, going fast. Shop.spreadshirt.com slash, slash I Am Geek. I am geek. See you next time for episode 100. This has been episode 99. Thank you for joining us.